Hello everybody, I hope each and everybody out there, those who are watching this video, having good health and doing great. And this is a very important lecture on chemistry. This is about relative atomic mass. So, this is very basic. Those students are right now in English versions and all of it, and those who are watching this video, this is basic of chemistry. I'm saying it again and again because this is the fundamental things of chemistry because I already said that structure of matter, structure of atom and periodic table, these three chapters are the basic of chemistry because when we go on the next levels like doing the reactions and doing other things like understanding the radicals and atoms, relative molecular mass these are important so understanding that relative molecular mass we need to know first what is the relative atomic mass and this lecture is about relative atomic mass so why it's called relative atomic mass because there was some history i mean this word means that there are some standard that which will be the base of calculating the other atoms uh, atomic mass. So in this video we shall be explaining that here atom carbon 12 6 isotope carbon atom is the basic and that is why this is the carbon scale atomic mass and that is why it's called relative because earlier there are three scale like hydrogen scale, oxygen scale and right now carbon scale. So according to the carbon scale, relative atomic mass of an atom, of an atom. So if you see in the periodic table, there are numbers of like 118 numbers of elements are placed in specific positions. If you see any of them, so relative atomic mass of any atom, any atom, so we say an atom, so in this case we can say any atom, that that is equal to the mass of one atom of the element. So where is a very important thing and also one twelfth mass of carbon isotope which is 12 6 carbon isotope. So if you see the definition that relative as relative atomic mass defined as the ratio the ratio of the average mass of an atom to the 1 twelfth so 1 by 12 so total mass divided by 12 so 1 twelfth mass of carbon isotope which is like 12 6 carbon atom so you know that isotope in carbons like 12 13 and 14 are possible but in this carbon scale 12 number isotope carbon is the standard and that is why that is why this is a fixed value because we are considering all the atomic mass relative atomic mass based on this so this is the basement and 1 12th of carbon 12 isotope mass is 1.66 times 10 over 24 gram <coughs> and this is called atomic mass unit so this is actually atomic mass unit you can say amu so 1 amu is 1.66 times 10 over minus 24 gram so we will calculate the relative atomic mass of any atom dividing by this this value because this is the ratio of carbon 12 1 12th mass of carbon 12 isotope so this is a fixed value which is 1.66 times 10 over minus 24 gram so and most importantly there is no unit of relative atomic mass because it's the ratio of similar quantity it's very important to remember that there is no unit of relative atomic mass as it is a ratio of similar quantity. That means I'm dividing mass divided by mass. So I'm dividing gram by gram. So there is no unit of relative atomic mass. So how do we 
calculate relative atomic mass right now I'm giving you some, some level of understanding that suppose suppose you, you know that earlier we need to understand one thing that in atom nucleus in atom nucleus there is neutron and proton there is neutron and proton suppose I said there are four neutrons and three atoms so the element is lithium because we know that in lithium atom there are there are three proton and four neutrons suppose so this is lithium and right now if we need to understand that what is the relative atomic mass of lithium then how we can understand and how we can calculate this is very important before going to explaining this I am giving you some simple understanding of this like if you you know that the atomic relative atomic mass of sodium is 23 so if you see in periodic table that sodium is placed on number 11 because in sodium atom there are 11 protons inside the sodium atom so if there is 23 is written it means that the relative atomic mass of sodium is 23 it means that a atom an atom of sodium element an atom of sodium is 23 times higher than the 1 12th of mass of a carbon 12 6 isotope or even you can say carbon 12 isotope so the understanding is sodium atom atomic relative atomic mass is 23 how we can understand it because it's written in the its periodic table but how we will calculate it means that in case of sodium this is 23 sodium 23 so this is the mass of sodium atom one atom divided by 1.66 times 10 over 24 gram so we know it from the periodic table but mass of sodium atom one atom one atom if you need to find it out mass of one sodium atom then we need to we need to multiply 23 times 1.66 into 10 over 24 gram then what would be the value I need to I use my calculator so here would be like okay so if I divide it 23 times 1.66 over minus 24 this is 38.8 over 10 over 24 minus 24 so we can say that 38 times 0 0.18 38.18 38.18 times 10 to the power minus 24 gram is is the mass of one sodium atom so if we say that how to calculate this one because we, we need to find out the relative atomic mass of any atom if we need to find it out we need to know first that what is the mass of one atom of that element so I find it out here because we know from the periodic table the relative atomic mass so if we need to find out the relative atomic mass of chlorine then we need to do we need to divide the mass of chlorine atom one chlorine atom divided by this value because this is the uh, atomic mass unit so and of course you know that chlorine and sodium because sodium uh, the relative atomic mass of sodium chlorine is 35.5 so it means it means what would be the things it means that here I can divide so the relative atomic mass of chlorine we know that 35.5 so mass of one chlorine atom divided by this would be the mass of one chlorine atom so one chlorine atom mass 
so mass of one chlorine atom is like 35.5 times 1.66 times 10 over minus 24 gram again we'll get another value it means this is this gram is the mass of one chlorine atom so the relative atomic mass of any elements is the ratio of the mass of one atom of that element and the one twelfth of the mass of carbon 12 isotope so if I do it in a, in a critical way so I'm, I'm removing it and I'm giving you one one sort of important thing that suppose in your question paper that is given like in magnesium in magnesium there are 12 neutron and 12 proton 12 proton in in a I mean in magnesium atom there are 12 neutrons and 12 protons what are what are the relative atomic mass of magnesium if this is the question if this is the question that you need to remember that this one that in lithium three protons and four neutrons were there into the atom but here is given in magnesium there are 12 neutron and 12 protons what are the relative mass so how do you find it how do you find it relative atomic mass of magnesium we need to know the mass of one atom of element so I know that in one magnesium atom that is given here there are 12 protons and 12 neutrons so how do I calculate the mass of one magnesium atom so how do you calculate see so the relative atomic mass of magnesium is we need to find out we need to find out the mass of one atom so how do you find this one atom of magnesium as we know we have 12 protons and 12 neutrons of magnesium so I know the mass of proton which is 1.67 times 10 over minus 24 gram we know it so how many protons 12 and plus how many neutrons 12 neutrons so we have 12 neutrons and we also know the 1.675 times 10 over minus 24 gram so that is the mass of one magnesium atoms because it's not given directly so if the number of neutrons and protons are given we also can find out the mass of that atom so we divide it we we'll divide it uh, 1.66 times 10 to the power minus 24 gram so if we add this if we add this and divide it by this we'll have a value nearly nearly 24 i guess 24 something so 24 something so this is the relative atomic mass of magnesium so that is why i was always saying that this is a very important concept very basic concept of chemistry to understand the relative atomic mass so i am giving you the total concept and please do let me know you understand these things and then i'll definitely adjust my class on the next level so take care stay well stay blessed